let's start at the very beginning. A very good place to start. All stories have a beginning. Once upon a time. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Once there were four children whose names were Peter, Susan, Edmund and Lucy. It is a truth universally acknowledged that a single man in possession of a good fortune must be in want of a wife. In a hole in the ground there lived a hobbit. The most important story of our faith starts in the beginning. With these words, we're taken right back to Genesis, to creation, but John puts a spin on it, tells us that the creation story is also Jesus' story, that Jesus' story starts at the very beginning, before the beginning, and it will continue beyond the end of time. But we are in the now, and in the now, Jesus was born. The word became flesh and dwelt among us. And in the scope of all human history, barely any time has passed since his birth. He is close, so close we can almost feel that night of stables and stars and shepherds and angels and Mary cradling her baby boy, singing him songs of lullaby. As you listen to these words from the first chapter of John, Allow them to draw you back to his beginning, as the story of Jesus unfolds around us. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, or of the will of the flesh, or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh, and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. 